Hey everybody, it's the end of the week, and I just posted my video on the touchscreen controller that uh, controls everything in the studio. And Raspberry Pi also sent me this USB 3 hub. I was like, I, you can't really review, a, I mean, you could review a USB hub, but I figured instead of plugging it in and saying, yes, it's a hub, it plugs things in, I'm going to take it apart for you and we'll see what's inside. It feels like it's not 100%, uh, something's rotating inside there, so I guess it's there's probably a little strain relief in here. We'll see when we open it up, but let's, uh, let's zoom in so you can see what's going on. Regulatory marks on there, and there's a USB 3 type A plug connector, and uh, two on one side, two on the other, and look at that, there's USB-C. I didn't even notice that. USB-C power input, so you can uh, power this 5 volt power so that you don't overload your Pi if you're running like an SSD or something. So let it be said that Raspberry Pi has seen that USB-C is useful. Anyway, let's get this open up. And I don't have my guitar picks here, but uh, you know I'm okay with getting a little bit destructive. Let's just take a screwdriver. Let's see if this does anything. Ooh, I hear pops. It's always a great sound to hear. This is not the way that you open these things up, by the way. Uh, I think I'm going to have to get a wider, a wider tool than this little, this little guy. This is a wider tool. It's uh, not the ideal thing for this job, but maybe this will work better. I can get you sunk in a little bit. Hmm. Oh, there we go. I'm getting a little bit more. Uh, more pops. That's good. It does look like there's no glue, so that's nice. Oh no. Come on, pop out of here. Oh, there we go. Yep. Ah. There we go. And yeah, there's just, it's just a little cable strain relief right in here. Pop this out. And oh, look at that, it's modular. <clears throat> you can actually replace this cable if they sold a replacement. Uh, but if I take this guy out, Raspberry Pi USB Hub R03. So they've gone through three revisions of this. And uh, the chips it has, it has a couple little capacitors over here. It has a chip, it's the 24C02WP from ST. And this looks like the USB Hub chip. It's a CYUSB 3304-6 8LTXC, so uh, from Cypress, I guess. Uh, and then the back side is just flat and plain, so it's cheaper to not have a dual-sided PCB for this. And uh, the the ports are all integrated, and they they're very they're pretty solid. Uh, but let's plug it into the computer and see if I can get a device to work through it. Got USB extension. This is not the ideal way to do USB 3 using a long extension cable, but so I can show you up here on the camera, which is right over here. There we go. Have I ever told you how annoying it is trying to get things positioned in camera? It takes me usually five or ten takes. This is why this is on the second channel, not the main channel. You get to bear with me. Okay. Plug it in. And we have light, so that's working. And it mounted on my desktop. Apparently I put Ventoy. Oh, this is the Ventoy flash drive. I'll show you up here. Let's uh, let's move the camera up here, and I will show you more info. But a USB, here it is, USB three hub, and it's totally out of focus. Sorry about that. Let's get this focused. And this is backwards to me, so I don't know if you can see it, but it says USB three hub manufacturer Raspberry Pi, serial number zero 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 testing. So I wonder, I, I don't know if this will be the uh, final product ID and vendor ID and all that, but uh, I wonder if that's shipping or if that's just because the one that I have right here is a uh, test prototype that they sent out a week or two ago. Anyway, that's uh, there's the USB 3 drive in case you were wondering what it looks like on the inside. Before I wrap up, the uh, testing I was doing just to show you on camera was with a USB 2 cable. This is a cheap Amazon Basics USB 2 extension cable. So uh, if you have, uh, don't use a super long extension cable if you want high speed USB. That's basically the story there. And again, see you later.